Hey fellow tennis nerds, this is the Technifiber T Fight XTC 305 Racket Review. It's been a hectic period of playtesting going on here at the Tennis Nerd headquarters. It's high time I review this racket. It's been given pretty high praise by other reviewers. And after a couple of weeks of testing, I can really understand why. It's a nicely balanced, uh, very versatile frame. Talking about Technifiber, they have seen some success on the ATP Pro Tour recently, mainly in the hands of Daniil Medvedev. Uh, but they also have a promising young player called Talon Griekspor and uh, obviously Jeremy Chardy, who has been playing with Technifiber for a few years. Uh, so some interesting ambassadors for their brand. Uh, I also like their racket bags, I must say. I use their uh, racket bag, the Rack Pack. I'm pretty well familiar with Technifiber products. I've used the T-Fight 315 Limited before, which is a copy of the um, Head Pro Tour 630 or 280 in the US. That racket is, is plays pretty nice. I, I've used it before with quite a lot of customization. This racket, the T-Fight 305 XTC, has a really high swing weight for a low weight racket. So this one doesn't really need a lot of customization unless you want a bit of a higher static weight. Maybe you want to add a leather grip or uh, some silicone in the handle perhaps, or some lead tape on the grip. Uh, a lot of players will feel that it's a bit heavy to swing if you're not used to the 330 swing weight. I really like this. I like a heavier swing weight, so I think 330 is, is pretty much in my wheelhouse. I like it even sometimes up to 340, 350. So this one plays really, really nicely. Uh, the 1819 string pattern offers good control, but also gives a bit more spin than the tighter 1820, so I think they got that right. The beam is also not very thick, it's kind of in the middle, which I think is nice. The, the stiffness is also in the middle, around 65 strung, which plays quite comfortable, I must say. I didn't feel any jarring or any issues in my arm while playing with this racket, even with a stiff poly string. Uh, one thing I found on the Technifiber website, which was I was indeed a bit surprised to find, was that they write that Jeremy Chardy plays with the T-Fight 305 without modification or customization from the factory specs. I find that very hard to believe because most ATP pros, they use really hefty swing weight. So I, if that is true, uh, I'm very surprised. Uh, I can't say it's not true. Uh, I don't have anything to verify that information. But usually ATP pros play with swing weights above 340, 350. Yeah, there is a point to make that some younger players nowadays are going down because they're used to lighter rackets and swinging them faster. It might be true uh, because 330 is not a super low swing weight, but still very surprising for a player uh, like Jeremy Chardy to play with a stock 305 racket. That's up to um, Technifiber to defend. Uh, I'm not sure why they would risk any kind of lawsuit uh, and write that uh, on their website and it's also been posted on the ATP World Tour website as well. So the Technifiber XTC 305 is a control oriented racket. The 1819 pattern fits that spec really well. It uh, has quite a low uh, balance and so it's not so head light. A lot of weight in the head makes it a bit more difficult to swing for, for some players. I find it pretty much perfect uh, for my game. I did try uh, adding some lead tape at 12 o'clock, a couple of grams, I think around two or three, and it played really well, got a bit more power out of that um, because it was strung pretty tightly. Uh, but I, I would recommend maybe stringing this a bit lower as well, 22 kilos perhaps. Uh, I think that could really work well with a poly string since it's a quite comfortable racket. So the low static weight, as I said, gives you the option to customize a little bit, but probably you would go, uh, most of you, with um, maybe some weighting in the handle to get it a bit more head light. You can't lower the swing weight. The swing weight will give you a nice plow through. And if you don't like a swing weight in the 330s, I think you should look at another racket. But I think this is a very good versatile racket uh, if you're up for um, for a bit more to swing. And the 1819 pattern, as you might know, is what Djokovic uses nowadays. It's a nice hybrid pattern, I think. 
uh, a bit more spin than the 1820 and a bit more controlled than the 1619. So it kind of lands there with the 1620 that Yonex is more famous for. Uh, I think it's a nice blend of controlled launch angle uh, while retaining a bit better spin. What else is new with the Technifiber T-Fight XTC305? Well, they have the easy lock eyelets, which makes stringing a bit easier. I really appreciate that. That's a more practical feature of the racket. They have the XTC is called Extreme Touch Construction. It's supposed to make it more stable. The strength of the carbon fiber, yada, yada, yada. A lot of uh, manufacturers talk about the strength of their uh, products. Uh, usually they're all quite strong. Uh, so I don't think, um, I mean, the best way to, to really find out if a racket works for you is, is playing with the, with the racket and really experiencing the sensation of hitting the ball, not so much listening to the jargon of how it's manufactured or created. Uh, they have strengthened the bumper, made it an armor cap bumper. Uh, hopefully that will make it last longer. It's a bit better protection for the racket, which I think is a good idea. It's kind of practical things I really appreciate. So when we talk about the performance of the XTC 305, really well balanced, versatile racket, plays kind of like a mix of the Wilson Blade 98-1820 pattern and the Bablat Pure Strike 98-1619 pattern. So kind of in between, good control, still a bit more pop than the Wilson Blade. More comfortable than the Pure Strike, that was my main issue with the Pure Strike. Offers a bit more control than the Pure Strike as well, so I think it's um, quite easy to use, player's racket. Uh, despite the swing weight, I would say, I enjoyed it on serves and ground strokes. Really easy for me to pick up and just get going with straight away. I also took it into two of my league games, my tournament matches I have here running in Malta and I managed to play well with it from the get-go, which is not always the case when I bring a, a fresh racket into a tournament match. So that was a good sign for me. I felt like I was really in control of the ball, could generate both some good slice and topspin. So it was quite easy to uh, feel in control with this stick. Um, it's not a very powerful racket, so you need to generate your own, your own pace. But if you're used to doing that, I think this racket could uh, be a very interesting playtest for you. So I did try it both in stock form and with some lead tape. I think it played uh, well in, in both um, specs. One of those rackets, you just take it out of the bag and um, bring it into a match and, and it's easy to enjoy. I have a really hard time to fault this racket. I will keep playing around with it for a while more uh, and see it's, if it's something I could eventually switch to. It doesn't offer quite the confidence to hit flat winners like the Angel K7 Lime that I'm currently playtesting and I'm really enjoying that racket too. But it's a bit easier to use. So um, if you like to play with a modern control oriented racket with a nice and beefy swing weight, I think you should really try the Technifiber T-Fight 305 XTC. Also thumbs up uh, for the cosmetics. I think they look very classy, nice to see a white, red, blue racket, um, really works with the brand and its origins. So uh, thumbs up for that, that's always a matter of taste of course, but it, it looks a bit different from what's usually the case now in the different racket shops. So solid stick, really recommend that you give this a test if you can. Uh, I'm really happy with it, might not be something I switch to, but it's something I, uh, that deserves a place in the bag for a while more, which is, which is high praise coming from me that switch rackets and tests all the time. I really enjoyed it. Thanks a lot, as always, guys and girls, for um, watching my videos and my, reading my humble content on tennisnerd.net. Please also check me out on Instagram, tennisnerd.net, and uh, Twitter, as well as the Facebook page. There is also now a Facebook group, which you can join and post your own racket pictures and um, share with us other tennis nerds, so we can have kind of a conversation going about tennis gear on this Facebook group. So that's about it for now. I wish you all the best and I hope you get to play some tennis.
Aye, shot. Sure.